I am gonna explain the crap out of that game. What? You don't know how to play war? Don't worry, I gotcha. Come on, let's go! Woo! Hello! Almost everyone has heard of the card game called War. But most people don't realize that this game is a couple centuries old. We don't know who invented it, but there's a reason that this game has stuck around for so long. It's because for many people, it was their very first game. Guys, this game is so easy. It's great for young kids who are just learning how to sit down and play games. If you stick around to the end, I'll show you some optional rules to spice this game up. Now let's break it down. How to play war. Hey. Hey. First, we'll set it up. This game is usually played with two players. Whoever is older deals out all the cards. The players gather their cards in a stack and are not allowed to look at their cards. That's it. You did it. You're all set up to play war. Now let's start playing. The goal is to capture all the cards. To take a turn, both players flip their top card face up onto the table. They compare their cards to see which is higher. Ace is the highest, two is the lowest. Here's a tip. If you are playing with a kid that isn't good with numbers yet, they can always count the pips. The player with the highest card takes both cards and adds them to the bottom of their deck. To continue, players flip their next card and repeat. Keep going just like that until the players tie by placing down two cards of the same type. Then it's time for war. They each deal three cards face down and one card face up, and the highest card wins them all. But if they tie again, they repeat another three down and one up, and so on, until someone wins the entire pile. If they are in war and don't have enough cards to finish, they lose the war. It's tradition that when you put down three cards, you say something. Some people say W-A-R, war. But some people say something else. I declare war. Let's settle this once and for all. Which is better? Vote for that up top. Anyway, that's all there is to it. You keep playing rounds until someone is out of cards. If you're the person to collect all the cards, You've won at war! Congratulations! Ooh! Wow! Right off the bat! Okay, starting out strong, I like that. I declare war! Ooh! Come on! Double, double war! Right off the bat. Very nice! Alright, very right. nice! I declare war! <laughs> triple war! I mean, triple, triple war. war! Triple war! Triple war! Triple war. <laughs> I declare war, dude. Holy shit. Quadruple war. I declare war. I declare war. <laughs> no. No. That is unbelievable. I, uh, no. You know what? This is it's a craziness. This is going to be the one. It's got to be the one, right? I declare war. War. No! Yep. <laughs> That's so easy, right? So one last thing, this game can take a really long time to play. If you want to make it shorter, the easiest way is to instead play that whoever wins five wars first wins the game. You can also play with jokers. After dealing out all the cards, both players each get one joker and put it into the center of their deck. Jokers beat all their cards. Finally, while this is usually a two-player game, it's pretty easy to adapt to three or four players. It's the same thing, just when a player runs out of cards, they get knocked out. You only have war if the players tie for the highest card. So this would be war, but this wouldn't. You can play with any of these variations, but remember, the beauty of this game is its simplicity. If you are ready to add variations, you might instead want to try something else. Take a look at Crazy Eights. That's a great game for three to four players of all ages. All right, everyone, now it's time for you to decide if there's any buttons you want to hit. Did I explain the rules okay? Did you like this? 
Your comments and game requests are very welcome. If you subscribe, I will be bringing you a new game every few weeks. Maybe I'll surprise you with your new favorite game. 